Thanks for stopping by. I be dog. It's your girl Melinda here with another video. Yes, we're gonna be doing a spring look today. A spring look today. It's still spring, y'all. Here in the Carolinas, we have been experiencing some different type of weather. Okay, sometimes it's warm. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it's a little both in the same day. Um, but I'm enjoying, I am enjoying the cool mornings. I'm loving it just to get out, sit outside, hear the birds meditating, thinking on the goodness of God. It's an amazing feeling. Okay. So, uh, and just admiring the flowers and the flowers that I planted. And um, it's just a blessing, y'all. So, if this is your first time here, I want to say welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Before you finish watching the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, okay? Hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I get dogged. If you are returning, I say what's up. Glad to have you back. Right, and to everyone, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I enjoy reading the few comments that I get. Um, let me know what you think about these looks, y'all. Let me know what you think about these looks, and uh, to show support and love. Like the video. Like the videos. Okay? To show support and love for your girl. If I'm your girl, show me some love and support by liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's easy. All of it is free. It's just a tap with your finger. A couple of taps. If you are commenting but it's one tap to like and it's one tap two taps to subscribe okay so with all that being said i appreciate each and every one of you for viewing i appreciate each and every you every one of you that continue to come back and stop by your girl is grateful okay so enough of all of that we're going to get into this look using the Julius Place Wahala 2 palette. That's what we're working with today. Wahala 2. It's a pretty busy palette, y'all. It's pretty, pretty busy. If you are a beginner, you might feel a little intimidated because of all the business. Busyness. You have what? 30 shades to work with colorful shades not a whole lot of transitions so if you're just starting out this might not be the palette for you but doesn't mean that you shouldn't pick it up because you'll get to that level if you keep playing around in it okay and then you may want it just to pull one color from it okay and not be able to do an entire look with just one palette okay so we're going to work with just this palette and we are going to be using this row right here just one we're going to work out of this row not sure this is from this side the fifth row this one right here that's what we're going to be working with today and I'm not going to get any other palettes because it does have a dark brown at the bottom ASAP. And I can use that if I want to deepen the crease or smoke out, okay? And there are three matte colors in that. There is a glitter and there is a, uh, a pressed glitter and there's a shimmer there. So we're going to make it do what it do. All right. So. If you would like to see how this beautiful spring inspired look turns out, I suggest that you keep on watching. Sit back, fasten your seatbelts, y'all. 
and let me show you how I
I think this is it for the eyes. We went in the outer V with this brown called ASAP. That's what we used in our outer V. I, I um, applied it with a flat eyeshadow brush with pony hairs. Great for packing. You will find that pony hair brushes are great for your matte colors. Okay, I'm going to do a brush video coming up soon going over brushes and the best brushes to use for certain things. And then I came in with a clean brush to just soften the edges, just to blend the edges out. I didn't add any color to it. I didn't go in any with a lighter color. I just wanted to soften it up in the outer V to smoke it, okay, and to get rid of that harsh line from packing the color on. Then I went next to it, I used Wasted, this beautiful burnt um, orangey color here, tangerine color here. I went in with that, and then in the front, I went in with Lit, a beautiful soft peach. This is a peach, darker peach, a lighter peach. Um, and then on top of Wasted in the middle, I added 419. That's a pressed glitter. You can add some adhesive to apply the glitter. I didn't do that because I didn't want a whole lot of glitter. I didn't want it just there. There. I just wanted just a little tiny bit of sparkle there. Uh, because for some reason when I do my side-by-side -side method, I like using a shimmer right next in the middle. And because I didn't use that other shimmer, just to play in some glitter today, something that I rarely do because when it's time to take it off, it can be a little mess. You have it all over you for a couple of days. That's why I did not want to pack it on heavy. So I did not use any type of adhesive to apply more. I just wanted a hint of glitter. So we are going to clean up, you know, the routine and we'll come back with the finished look. Stick around, y'all, to see how this beautiful spring-inspired look comes together. Keep on watching. Okay, y'all, we are back. Your girl has thrown on some lashes, a wing liner, did her complexion products, and um, we're going to finish y'all with the lip. I am in love the, with the way that this spring inspired look has turned out. Now we got a spring smoky eye. Okay, this is going we're gonna call this a spring smoky eye. All right, with a pop of glitter. All right, so let's go ahead and do this lip, y'all. And we're gonna use a Juvia's Place lippy today. We, I think we're gonna actually even do a little bit of gloss, and we're gonna um. Go ahead and use this brow eyeliner in Mink Brown. And we're going to line the lips. Since the eye is smoky, let's go ahead and smoke out the lips a little bit. A little ombre. Okay? A little ombre. like so okay all right and we're going to be using the velvety matte lipstick by juvia's in the color 2020 this is what the packaging looks like very very pretty this is the lipstick itself gives you quite a bit of product look at that nice bit of product and this is in 2020. And we're going to just pop it right in the center. Yep. 
Yep, yep. Mm hmm. And they're so soft, y'all. They're so soft and, and velvety, just like, just, just the way they describe them. They are nice and velvety. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to top it off. I don't want it to be matte today. I don't think I'm going to leave it. Matt, I'm going to add a little gloss. Make them shiny a little bit. How about that? And we are going to use the Glass Lip Gloss by Juvia's in its glass. Perfect to pop it right in your purse. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. Juvia's is known for all of their beautiful packaging and artwork and everything. And we just want to pop that right in the center on top. Just to add a little shine. That's all. Just add a little shine. I didn't want it to be matte today. Now the matte was beautiful. No, that was pretty. But I wanted it to shine a little bit today. It's all right. It's doing all right with y'all. Tell me what y'all think about this spring smoky eye. Okay? Because I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It can be worn. These colors can be worn any time of the year. But, um, you girl just want to do a little something spring, you know. I like spring. Spring with the flowers and all that stuff before it gets too hot. You can enjoy sitting outside, enjoying the breeze and all that good stuff. And this time of year also signifies school is about to be out. And um, to all of you homeschool moms, I say big ups to you. Pat yourselves on the back. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yes, yes. You have been a principal, a teacher, um, the cafeteria lady, um, the guidance counselor, and the parent, all in one. You may have been doing this thing for the entire school year, such as myself, and the last bit of last year, such as myself. But it was an experience that I never thought that I would have to experience. But I'm glad to say that my boy made it through I have one 10 year old you guys see him on the channel I'm so grateful that I only had to deal with one student okay so big ups to you if you just had one my hat goes off to you if you had two three four and five to make sure that they got their education during this pandemic season in our lives okay but God is wonderful. He's faithful and he has kept us and seen us through. And we're just going to plead the blood of Jesus over these babies that didn't have the proper help. That they will shine still no matter what. And next year will be a better year for our educators and our teachers. And big ups to our educators as well who had to uh, teach virtually and in person to be able to collab both settings together that had to be a task and um, my hat goes off to all educators because just having one student was a job I can only imagine having 15 to 30 children plus in one setting so Thanks again for watching and tuning in. This is your girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is your girl, Melinda, here where I be dolled. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. As I said earlier, all it takes is just a press of a button to like, to subscribe, 
and a second press to hit that bell to be notified. And all it takes is just a couple of types to leave me a comment. I'm looking forward to your likes. I'm looking forward to your comments, reading them. And I'm looking forward to having you back in my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.